since I've been doing this, and probably, I don't know, probably will, I'm going to talk to you today about the shotgun sign. Also, the hang loose. Hang loose. Now, some people think, where did this come from? They might ask that question. It's all over the place. Australia is popular, mainland's popular, you see it in Brazil, it's popular, it's all popular, it's everywhere. Where did this come from? Hmm? Where did this come from? Some say all these different theories. One is the sign language. Why? This is the why in sign language. I love you. Uh, I'm not good at sign language, but I know this is why in sign language. I can make up a theory. Here's a fish, but if you pull out your thumb and you put out your finger, you can't punch and it, it unravels the fist into a peaceful greeting. I just made that up. But let's get down to the true things. The Shaka sign did originate in Hawaii. Did it come from the surfing culture? Yeah, right off. Yes and no. Did it come from someplace else? Well, let's look. Because you want to know the real origin of the Shaka sign. Yeah. Hi. Okay, now we're going to look into the Shaka sign. Hang loose. I use Wikipedia because I stand by Wikipedia. I think it's actually really good. But if you're writing students in school, if you're writing papers, don't use Wikipedia for your references. <sighs> this, because they're looking for you to search stuff up. But what's really cool about Wikipedia is all the way at the bottom, even all those little footnote thingies in it, there's links to other stuff and the little footnote thing is in it. It'll show you the sources where they got their information. So let's take a look at the Shaka sign, courtesy of Wika. Wiki. Almost like Wai. Wiki Kiki. Waikiki. Wikipedia. I like etymology too. The Shaka sign, something known as the Hang Loose, and in South Africa, the quote something pronounced Tochvicho. It's in South Africa because surfers went down to South Africa. I don't know. You know, there's lots of sign language, anthropology, and this is going to show up somewhere in anthropology. People are doing stuff all through history with their hands. It, but it didn't go to South Africa. I, a long time ago, there was a guy in Honolulu, Hawaii, named Frank F. Fossey. F. 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 Now, he's kind of like from the mainland when he was a lot younger, I think Connecticut. But he's basically raised in Hawaii. He's been in Hawaii so long. He's long passed out. But he's been in Hawaii so long. And basically, he became mayor of Honolulu. And then he became mayor of Honolulu again and again. And then he became governor of Honolulu. And then mayor of Honolulu. Now, this guy has been in politics he has a lot of stuff. And anyways, Frank Fossey, mayor of Honolulu. When he went campaigning, he had these big shaka signs. Frank Fossey, hang loose, hey! So it got really a lot of mileage. And the shaka sign, hey! Brah! Got mileage in the surf culture too, probably a long time ago. And in Hawaii, everyone tries to be aloha, tries to be nice. It's really kind of like to your friends and people you know, hey, you see him real quick, eh, because it's an island, you see people a lot, you know, stopping on, anyways, blah, blah, blah. So got a lot of, um, mileage, it got a lot of traction, it's like telecommunication, this is, you know, telecom it's like to call me, son, call me on the phone, it has nothing to do with that. Uh, oh, smoking, drinking, no. No, no, no. Is, oh, for Y, for BYU. BYU, hey! No, 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 no. 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 Oh, meaning and use. Aloha spirit. It's meant to convey the Aloha spirit. A concept of friendship, understanding, compassion, and solidarity among 
various ethnic cultures reside in Hawaii. Because there's so many different ethnic races in Hawaii. They all gotta, we all got to get along together because it's like an island. It's meant to convey the aloha spirit. Mm, no. You could say it's part of the aloha spirit because... Hey, hey, your friends, hey, it's it's all about a positive feeling. <laughs> Drivers will often use it on the road to communicate distant greetings and gratitude. <laughs> Which I kind of explained before. The explanation here is horrid. I'm sorry. Writers. Booyah. But, uh, <laughs> it's like, it's like... <laughs> You're driving on the road and you cut across three lanes and you know you fucked up and you're just going, hey, shaka, bro. Kind of like, don't kill me. Yeah, it's okay, man. And you're like, yeah, 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 whatever. It's a lot of that. Okay. <clears throat> but it's not meant for that. And Aloha Spirit is a huge thing about living in Hawaii. You could say it's the modern culture of Hawaii because we all live on an island. Can't we all just get along? We have to. We're on an island. So, Aloha Spirit and Aloha and the meaning of Aloha goes all the way back into the Hawaiian culture, which can extend way back before the kings and queens. Way back. Okay. 1800s, 1700s, 1600s, before that, Hawaiians got on this island like in the year 1000 AD. I don't know, 1000 AD, Hawaiians are going, hey, shaka. Probably not. Hey. I'll tell you why. <laughs> okay, now let's go down to where it really, I think, I'm going to buy this one. Now, shoot, it's where it is. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. There's this guy. And he lived on this island, Oahu. And he was back in the plantation days when they had maybe around the 18, late 1800s. And they had the sugar cane, a lot of the sugar cane. And they had these little trains, they had small gauge, the wheels were tighter together. These trains would go back in the plantation fields and they'd pile the sugar cane on and they'd transport it from the North Shore, all Sunset Beach area, all the way down to the South Shore and Kuhuku area. No, no not Kuhuku area, it's a different place. Uh, Ka'ahava, kind of. Anyways, it's over on the, on the South Shore. And there's this guy. And, uh, he worked in one of the plants, right? The, the sugar mills. He was working in one of the sugar mills. And in the sugar mill, he had an industrial accident. And they got these huge machinery things, and it was, you know, bad labor stuff going down. And, um, here, on, uh, and here he is, Hamana. Hamana Ali Halili. On a it's like Hamana 1990. So Hamana 1900, really early, you know, early 1800s. Like, uh, it's like early uh, sugar 1900s. And there's working in the, you know, the pulleys, with Western Ashland, these wheels, and, and put this thing, wheels, Western Ashland, and he pinched the three fingers. And they got crushed, lost, and they lost these, these fingers in industrial access. So he didn't have that. Deep. Right. Now, he, he was injured, so and he needed to get some different type of work because he was injured and he couldn't do that work so he wound up on the trains that pulled the sugar cane back and forth now in the plantation process they grow the sugar cane and then it's big enough the crop they burn it they go out and they set fire to it because it makes it easier to harvest so they burn the heck out of it but it also caramelizes a little bit the inside of the sugar, the sugar made by the plant and the cane stalks. So it's all kind of burnt down and it's ready to be harvested. So they pull the stuff and they dump it on the train. But the kids, eh? The kids, the keikis, the young kids, right? They run over onto the sugar cane and they would chew on the sugar cane, especially after it got burnt because it would be like candy. So, candy, 
And they would hop on these trains that would go back and forth hauling the sugar cane. They'd hop on these trains and they'd go, oh, ah, these pesky kids, eh? get off the train. And so, Kama, uh, wait, excuse me, Hamana, he got a job going on the train. So he'd be like the guy on the train, kind of a security guard. Well, I don't know, he may be doing something else on my train. But to be the kids, come off the train and they're holding up hey, the train. Train! And he would wave to them, hey, get off the train! Tr and he'd be his hand. Mm -hmm. Get off get the train! The train! Get out! Get off! Get off! It's like, ah! Get off the train! Off the train, right? There's a kid, here comes the guy, ah, comes the god, eh? So they got a guy, he's like, oh, the guy, you're coming with the guy, get off the train, like, get off the train, like, train. and sometimes, you know, the train would go by and they throw a little thing, throw the thing, they throw the train, the kids going after the candy, sugar cane, were getting scared away. So now, they will look. They're like the kids are kids, eh? They're like looking. They don't see the guy. The guy don't stay. He's not here. They don't see Hamana. He's not here. So the kids would wave to the other kids, all clear. Hey, Hamana, he not here. Not here. All clear. Go get candy, sugar cane. So this is like go get candy. It already has a positive aspect. A security guard ain't here. We'll go run for candy. Hey, hey, hey. It already has a positive beginning. <laughs> Later on, Hamana. Uh, the guy was from like Kahuku, right? And stuff. And he would tell story, right? One time he would tell story. I don't know. He's talking. No, talking story is big in Hawaii. Like I'm doing right now, talking too much. But talking story. So he's talking story and he would tell kids. Right? He was asking, what happened to your fingers, eh? Where are your fingers? How what happened to the fingers? And he would tell the kids, hey, you know, one time, I was swimming, and when shock beat him, shock beat him off. Shock beat him off. And the kids would be like, eh. and all he would do is like, you know, yeah, man. It's kind of like, and they had shock, eh? Shock the eyes. Eyes. He would go, shock eyes. Shark eyes, shark eyes, shark eyes, <laughs> and the shark eyes, shark eyes, shark eyes, yeah, shark eyes, shark eyes, shark eyes, there you go, that's really it, shark I've been out there in the boogie board stuff, I know what it's like, bobbing around, waiting for the next set, and you talk to your friends, a little bit distant, and I totally see where they go, shock eyes. You try to scare your friend. Hey, you're out in the water with your feet bangling. Shock eyes, shock eyes, look up for the shock. And you don't scare, you won't scare your friends. So, the surfing culture, shark eyes, shock eye. A lot of it goes on doing it and it's all over the place. Shock eye, shock eye, hang loose. And then there's like the stuff they do. I don't know. Pinky pole. They do this little thing. Hey, hey, hey. Like fancy. But hang loose. Got attached to it. Shaka. So. And of course there's mongoose. Back in the day. So hang loose. Mongoose. The origin of the shaka sign. Take care. Aloha.